Remember last week when I said this challenge was going to be difficult? Well, it turns out I wasn't wrong. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number two of the Watford FC No Attribute Challenge. And yet, like I said in the intro, so far this challenge is proving to be rather difficult. Because as you can see up at the top, we are 19th in the league. So, yeah, it's been a very disappointing start. We've played three games and we've only got the one draw in the league. So, let's take you through the results. You saw us lose to Brighton in the opening day of the season. Very disappointing result that was. We then got a 0-0 draw against Burnley. And again, not too much happening in that game. Then we lost 1-0 to Crystal Palace. Luka Milolovic, and that's how I'm going to pronounce his name, he got the winner for Palace in the 35th minute. And we never really looked like getting back into that game. And then in the Carabao Cup, our latest game, probably the most disappointing result we have had thus far. Losing 2-0 to Cardiff City. Then, then with two goals, Kadim Harris in the 60th and the 76th minute. And as you can see, no real standout performances. Our best players were Will Hughes on a 6.9. And despite conceding two, is our keeper on a 6.9. So yeah, it's been a very disappointing start to the season thus far. And the one person who's been the most disappointing is Troy Deeney. 30 years old, obviously. And, yeah, in pre-season, could not stop him scoring. Could not stop him scoring. But thus far, he has started every game. He's, so, that's four games he started. And he's got a 6.68. So, yeah, not really the best from him thus far. I might drop him for today's two games, which are going to be against Tottenham. And Manchester United after the international break. So, yeah, should be another tricky game today. It should be a tricky couple of games. But if we can double our points tally of one point, if we can get that to two points by the end of the episode, I'll be happy with the result over the two games. And I believe it is game day today. Yes, it is. I've actually come back on time for once. And so, yeah, you know what? Just before we do get into the game, I am, am I going to drop Troy Deeney? Uh, I'm going to put him as a target man. I'm going to put him as a target man, but I'm going to put the wingers on attack because we are going to be going with a 4-3-3 today. So we're going to be going with this team, Foster in goal, Williams, Kafkart, Kabisele and Sakai as the back four. And then El Nenny, Decore and Chalaba as the two central midfielders. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're going to leave them as central midfielders just because it is Tottenham. Otherwise, for somewhat of a lower team, I might consider changing them to to Mazalas. I have had a lot of success with Mazalas this year. So we might go with them against some of the smaller teams. So, yep, that's the midfield. And then Perea and Sema in the wings. And then Dini up top. And Will Hughes is not playing because Will Hughes has been a little bit injured. He's just a little bit knackered. So we're giving him a rest for today's game. And Gerard Delafeu, who is by far our best player, I think you would say. He is still four days away from getting back into full training. And finally being, being able to play for us. So that is all the team news done. Let's go and kick off the game. Alright guys, here we are. It's kick-off and Tottenham going with a very strong team. Uh, Rose, Vertonghen, Alderweireld and Trippier as their back four. Gaze, Gazeinga, I think that's how you say his name, in goal. I uh, don't want to get that one wrong. Dyer and Eriksson as the two holding midfielders. And then Son Heung-min, Ali and Lucas Moore all behind the main man, Harry Kane. Hopefully we can keep them quiet today. 
If not, it could be another long day. So I'm going to go passionate. We've got nothing to lose here. And I'm going to go, I have faith in you. I have faith in you. No reaction from the boys. This is not ideal. So let's go kick off. And I'm going to I'm gonna hopefully predict a 1-1 win. A 1-1 win? That would be nice. 1-1 draw even. And so now it's Tottenham starting the game off. Deli Alley to Alder Vierald. Plays it out wide to Lucas Moura. And he goes into Harry Kane. And Harry Kane, is he going to have a nice early shot here for Tottenham? Is he? he goes to Deli Alley. The shot is blocked. Son with his shot. And that is saved by the keeper. And thankfully, we don't go behind early doors. Immediately following this, Tottenham are all over us early on. Ericsson crosses the ball to Eric Dyer and less than a minute gone. And we are behind to Tottenham Hotspur. Dyer with, of course, his first goal of the season. Everybody who scores against the one FM is always their first goal of the season. And let's just have a look at this. Dyer in oceans of space. And Ben Foster, just nothing he could do about that goal. Four minutes in, Perea with a free kick. And he's almost curled it straight into the net from that fairly tight angle. And mm, VAR, not that close. Almost 20 minutes in, Ericsson with a free kick. And that goes harmlessly wide. Almost half an hour gone now, Trippier. Two sun on the edge of the box. He goes for a long shot and again. Oh, this is not going well. Tottenham 2 0 up now. And we are just not getting anywhere near them. Just far too easy for Sun on the edge of the box. That's two goals we've conceded on the edge of the penalty area. That is definitely something for future bad jokes to have a look at. Now, just before half time, Perea with a free kick. Again, it's parried away. Mm, somewhat off the line, but yeah. I think that was exactly the same as what our first effort was. Oh, well, one more before half time. Perea with another free kick, but that goes into the wall. And now, can he find a teammate? Or is this just going to be the end of half highlight? Goes to Sakai. To Williams. Nice ball there to El Nenny. And he crosses it in. Sema is on the wing. He tries to cross it. Gets blocked. Goes back to Sakai. And Elneny with a header. The Arsenal man on loan. Almost scoring against Tottenham. And well, can this half please end? I think this is going to be the end of game highlight, actually. Oh, so much for that just being an end of half highlight. We're just going to have a look at the replay. I didn't commentate over it because I thought it was going to be exactly that. And yeah, Lucas Moura with a decent goal there at the second attempt. Wow. That has been a dreadful first half. Six shots we've had to their 13. Four on target to their five. So not too bad on that account. But they've had a lot more possession than us. So let's go have a look at the tactics. See what, if anything, we can change. Focus the play down there. And go, let's, try, let's just try and play a little bit more narrow. So we're, lit, so we're a little bit closer to each other. And yep, yep, yep. What sort of defensive line have we got? Let's go for a higher defensive line and a higher line of engagement. And as far as, as for transition, distribute it to the flanks. Throw it out to them. And get stuck in and... More urgent pressing, I think we should go for. And now, you know what? I'm going to leave it at that and go assertive. That was absolutely terrible. First highlight of the second half. Decore has the ball off the throw-in. He plays it wide. Goes to Perea. And now, can Perea play it forward to Troy Deeney? That would be rather nice. Nope, he just passes it straight to Danny Rose. Is he colourblind or something? And he's just seeing Tottenham shirts. As the same colours as ours. I don't know. But we've won the ball back. Cathcart with it. Tottenham head it away. Elneny to Perea. Perea coming forward with it. 
Come on, just play the ball. Finally, it goes to Sema. And we're back in the game. 3-1 the score now. Ken Sema with his first goal for the club. And let's have a look at this on the replay. Alneni nodded the ball on. Perea just advanced into the Tottenham half. Found a little bit of space. And then nice, easy finish there for old Ken. Almost 50 minutes gone. Ericsson with a free kick that hits the post. And goes out for a goal kick. Tottenham keeper with the free kick. Or the goal kick even. Goes to Rose. And Rose coming forward with it. Again into our half. We need to really start trying to close these men down. Kane giving way too much space. But thankfully he appears to have left his shooting boots back in North London. Trippier now with a corner for Spurs. Goes to Kane, who's on the edge of the box. And um, that's a weird place to be putting Harry Kane, if you're going to ask me. Okay, now just making a couple of changes. Isaac's success is coming on for Perea. And Andre Gray is coming on for Troy Deeney. Ten minutes left. Ericsson with a free kick. That again hits the post. How many times have they hit the post today? Just a minute left of the game. Thankfully, Ben Foster catches that corner ball. Can he maybe start launching a counter-attack just to get us one more consolation goal? No, is he just going to hold on to it forever? Finally, he kicks the ball long. They head it away. Deli Ali with it. Alneni, oh, thought he was in danger of getting himself sent off there. But thankfully not. Alneni to Cathcart. To Alneni. Back to Cathcart. To Jetro Williams. Two success. He plays it forward and Decore loses it out there. But Elneny picks it up. Elneny passes the ball. And Sima with another shot. He's hit the post. And success. All he's got to do is put it in the back of the net. And he doesn't. Ah, That should be the final whistle. And is it? Come on. Yep, yeah, as indeed it is. It's another defeat, but playing against Tottenham, you wouldn't have expected too much, I think. And so let's have a look at the match stats. 12 shots to their 26. Equal amount on target, though. 7 on target each. 40% of possession. Maybe you might expect that against a Tottenham team. And so, a little bit disappointing, but we go again. And I'll go in for the team talk. Passionate. Uh, no, I'm going to go. I'm far from pleased. And then we'll go in the team talk. And I'll be back with you guys in just a second for the Manchester United game. Hey guys, we're back. It is game day for the game against Manchester United. As you can see, Man United, as you would expect, are the favourites. 5-4 to four to get the win. They're in excellent form, whereas we, obviously, uh, aren't. So, yep, yeah, I've made a few changes for the team. I've changed up the tactic as well, at least just for this one. We're going with a 4-1-4-1. Quite defensive, because we're going to be under a lot of pressure. What with it being Man United. Ben Foster keeps his place in goal against one of his ex-teams. Williams, Kafkart, Cabasele and Sakai also keep their places in the back four. Decore moves a little bit further back to be more of an anchor man. And then Perea is on the left. Will Hughes comes back into the side. Now he's fit again. Chalaba is alongside him. And Delafeu, who I think is Watford's best player, is also back in the team on the right wing. And then Troy Deeney is up all alone on his own but hopefully might be able to get a couple of the other lads involved as well and another one who is back involved with the team is Adalberto Penareda I think that's how you say his name he is fit for about 45 minutes is it yeah 45 minutes so he might come on in the second half if Troy Deeney is struggling and so yep let's go into the game not expecting anything from this, if I'm going to be honest. And Manchester United going with a 4-2-3-1. Luke Shaw, Lindelof, Smalling and Valencia as the back four. With the super Spaniard David De Gea in goal. 
and Pogba and Herrera as the holding midfielders, and then Martial, Mata and Lingard behind Alexis Sanchez up top. Little bit of a weird one. I don't really see Sanchez as a striker. IMO. So, be interesting to see how he gets on. Hopefully, not very well. And I'm going to go into the lads. Uh, we've got nothing to lose here. Let's show everyone what we're capable of. And go for the old George Michael. Gotta have faith for faith for faith. Gotta have faith for faith for faith. For. 11 minutes in. It's United with the first highlight of the game. One Matt is curling free kick. Not curling enough. And immediately following that, Man United are on the attack again. Lingard plays it into Sanchez with the long shot and hits the bar and then the keeper dives. What on earth Foster's thinking there? Answers on a postcard. 38 minutes gone. Finally, it's us with what looks like our first chance of the game. Goes to Capuceli. Pogba heads it away. And Decore loses it to the very speedy Martial. This could be danger. Yes, it is. Martial's past the defence. Just squares it for Lingard and he puts it in the back of the net. Oh, that's what happens when you lose the ball to Anthony Martial. The man is just rapid. One mistake, that's all it was. And then our man going to, I don't know, say hello. He certainly wasn't trying to tackle him. Maybe he was asking for an autograph. And so that's half time. Not a whole lot occurring, but we are behind. United absolutely dominating the game. Eight shots to our three, two on target to our one, 63% of possession to our 37. And so, do I go 4 4 2 now? That is what I'm thinking. You know what? Why not? We're already losing. We can't be made that much worse for us. So, let's get Penarada on alongside Troy Deeney. Get him as the advanced forward. And then just pump the ball forward. Proper Big Sam style. Just distribute to the target man. And take long kicks. And let's, let's go a bit more positive. And so into the team talk. Passionate. Um, I know we're the underdogs here. But go and give the fans a performance to cheer for. And uh, no, no reaction from us. That is not good. First highlight of the second half is Ben Foster under pressure there from a very poor back pass. But we get the ball forward. Goes to Troy Deeney. And he goes wide to Perea. And now can Perea find a teammate? He does it. Oh, he almost didn't need to. That was a very decent effort. Ben Foster now with another goal kick for us. The ball goes long. Small in heads away. Goes to Perea. And Perea with the ball coming forward. He goes into the box. He shoots. If anybody's going to get us back into this game, it is Perea. Half an hour to go. One matter with the free, with the corner even. And oh! I called him not a striker before the game. And well, that is as unstrikerish a goal as you're ever going to score. Just an absolute scramble and Sanchez just got his little pinky toe on it just to hoof it over the line. Just over 20 minutes to go, Chalaba with the ball goes out wide to Williams. He plays it to Perea. And Perea, can he please pass to a teammate? He's got someone in space. He's got, he had someone in space. Why did he pass? Just over 10 minutes gone or to go even. And we've got what? Just over 10 minutes to go. Ken Seema and Andre Gray are coming on in place of Della Feu and Troy Deeney. Two and a half minutes left. Andre Gray with the ball, crosses it in. Lindelof heads it away, goes to Seema. And he goes to Chalaba. He's got a man in space out wide. Sakai. He crosses it in, but that gets blocked. And now, oh, it's Young with the ball. Is he going to get it forward quick? No, he's not. He does eventually get it forward, but we win it back. Chalaba over the top. Lindelof heads away. Pogba, 2-1 matter. Wide to Anthony Martial. Martial coming forward with it. And nice Cabaselli with a decent tackle there. 
Sakai plays the ball long again. And Lindelof again heading it forward. To Pogba. 2-1 matter. Lukaku. Martial with a long shot there. Foster with a decent save there to parry the ball over for a Manchester United corner. Which is going to be taken by one matter. He crosses it in. We head it away. And that's Perea on the counter. And nothing happens there. The full-time whistle has just gone. We have lost 2-0 to Manchester United, but there was a couple of decent signs in there. couple of decent signs with getting a few of our players, a few of our best players back. So hopefully things might start improving. Until that second goal, I thought we had half a chance of nicking a point. So I'm going to go unlucky boys. Would have been nice to get a win, but that was not to be. And so that's where we're going to leave it for today. Let's see when we're going to come back. I want to try and come back for maybe a couple of winnable games this time. So also I do want to play a little bit. So you know what? I'm going to come back for the... What should we say? Should we say Southampton Liverpool? Or no, because no, Liverpool's not going to be winnable. So, you know what, we're going to come back for Everton and Cardiff in December. Get a bit of the early season done. So, guys, if you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel. Every new sub is very much appreciated. Not only have I got this series on the go, I'm also going to be starting a new Total Extreme Wrestling series in the next few days so subscribe to see that when that goes live and follow me on twitter twitter.com slash bad jokes gaming uh twitch.tv slash bad jokes games and yep guys follow me as well into the fm creators discord and there'll be an invite link for that down below and so guys i'll see you next time bye